Holy cow, it was 12 today. When I woke up, the real field was like 21. Now the real field is 35, which is better, but still pretty cold. Now that means that most reptiles and amphibians are not going to be active. They're not going to be out. But there is one species of salamander that is active. And this is actually be prime time to find them. The Eastern Tiger Salamander. So in this video, I'll tell you guys all about them and let's hop into the video. Hey there guys. So now that we're inside, let's start talking about the Eastern Tiger Salamander, or Ibistoma tigrium tigrium. And you can see tiger right in their Latin name. So let's have in the first category of their size and appearance. Now, the size of a tiger salamander is pretty big. It gets from about seven to eight and a quarter inches. Now it's nowhere near the largest salamander, but it still is a pretty big salamander. Now their coloration is that they're gonna have a black body, with some yellow spots on them. Now, their spots are similar to a spotted salamander, but very, very different. They're not as much spots as they are more looking like stripes. So they'll often go across the back from one side to the other, maybe not completing it all the way, but making it look more like stripes, which is where they got their name, tiger salamander, because it is a black salamander with yellowish kind of orange. You could stretch and say it's a little orange. It's not tiger orange, but orange enough and stripes to make it be called the Eastern Tiger Salamander. So let's hop into the next category. And because it's a salamander, we're talking about their breeding. So these guys actually breed earlier than any other herp in New Jersey. These guys will start breeding in winter and early spring. So they'll start coming out to looking for vernal pools where they can mate and lay eggs in actually December. So all the way around Christmas time, even before Christmas, these guys are out moving, looking for these vernal pools to lay their eggs. So they'll be mating and breeding from December to about early March. And by the end of March, pretty much all breeding activity is done. And they've moved on to go back underground where they're really hard to find. But now let's get into their habitat in New Jersey and their range. The habitat and the range of the eastern tiger salamander. Well, this species of salamander is only found in the southern part of Jersey, of New Jersey. It's found other places in the United States, but in New Jersey, it's only found in the Cape May area. And this species needs very loose soil to be to survive because they do spend four to five years of their life underground. But that loose soil can be found anywhere from forests to woodlands to fields. So in a lot of these habitats, eastern salamanders are there, but due to the fact that they're underground for a lot of their lives, you might not even know that they're there unless you're digging a hole and you come across a salamander. So they pretty much, they're not that uncommon of a species, but they are uncommon because they're very hard to find because they spend most of their lives underground. But now let's get into the next part where I tell you about the number I found. I haven't found any tiger salamanders, but that's because it's about a four hour drive from where I am down to Cape May area where I can find them. And the only time to find them, or the best time to find them, is in the quarter months of the year, which are not the most fun to go hiking. So I haven't had the chance to go down and look for them yet, but I do have a few tips from other herpers. The best time to look for these salamander species is actually in the winter, unlike other species of any herp herp because they're hiding most of the winter, but tiger salamanders, they're out now and only now because they can't get that deep into the soil where they burrow. But instead, they're going to be walking around, going to vernal pools and all that to breed. So that's a few tips if you want to find yourself a tiger salamander. Now let's hop into the facts, the interesting facts. So let's get into the interesting facts about the tiger salamander. So the really interesting fact is that they do spend four to five years of their life underground. Now that's a long time. In captivity, the average age of a tiger salamander is 25 years. So think about that. If it spends five years of its life underground, that's a fifth of its life. And that's not including its aquatic larval state or its egg state. That means that it stays at least a fifth of its life underground. Maybe even more, well, of its adult life underground because terrestrial and the egg, 
that's not their adult life, but it's still their life. So yeah, that's the interesting fact. So if you guys did like this video on the Eastern Tiger Salamander, please don't forget to hit the like button, to subscribe, and if you want to see more of my videos, and write any comments, any tips, and tell me if you guys like the lighting, because I got a new light, and I want to see how it is. All right, thanks guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Oh, I said guys way too much in that clip, but too late to take it back. Let's get into this video, and I'll see you Herpers next time.